That's my chicken impression. We've got chickens to the right of us, and it's like we've been dive bombed by the bees who are <laughs> coming to and from us from behind. Anyway, hello. Hello. What happened to the beard? I had no idea what you mean. I never had a beard. Did you not? No. I don't know where you got that from. Imagine that you're in this amazing donut shop and they make and serve the most mouth-watering, delicious donuts that you've ever eaten, ever. You can, you can taste it already, can't you? I'm drooling. Now say that you got home and you wanted to tell all your friends and family about this really nice donut shop. Yeah. How would you do it? I'd text them, Facebook, Twitter, phone them. But what if you didn't have Twitter or Facebook or a phone or a text and the only way that you could tell them about this donut shop and where it is was through the medium of expressive dance. You've got to stop daydreaming during dum, vlogs. Dum, dum. Du, 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 dum. Sorry. In each of our hives, there's literally tens of thousands of honeybees in each one of the 20 hives we've got. And every day the worker bees leave the hives and go out searching for the best nectar which they need for energy and pollen which they need for protein and to feed the little baby beelings. But how do they find it? Facebook groups. No, that would be easier for them. WhatsApp groups. No, not WhatsApp groups. Nothing to do with groups. When one of the worker bees finds some really good nectar or pollen or water or somewhere new to live, they'll come back and they do this genius thing and it's called the waggle dance. <laughs> it's a bit like you. <laughs> no, it's, it's true, it's absolutely true. It was discovered back in the 1940s by a guy called Carl von Frisch. He even won a Nobel Prize for it. Did he? So what is the waggle dance? <laughs> is it the same thing you do for me on the bed? No, no, that's a completely different kind of dance. It's like a sat-nav for bees. So the worker bee comes back and she'll find a nice little space on one of the frames in the hive and she'll dance in a very specific way to give the other bees directions to where the bounty can be found. Wow. It actually might be easier if we show you. <laughs> oh, do you want to touch me, buzzer? <laughs> Tell you what, I'd like to be a bee because I'm getting, getting, getting right breeze up me gusset. Oh my. To get a true sense of how the waggle dance works, first thing we need to do is go up there. From up here, you can see where the sun is right ahead of us. And my bees see that in relation to the horizon. Let's say, for example, that it's at zero degrees. So when the bee does her waggle dance, she's giving directions based on where the sun is in line with the horizon from the entrance of the hive. Now let's say the forage she's found is about 50 degrees from the sun on the horizon. So she's gonna waggle her whole body and move in a 50 degree angle forwards. Then she's gonna form a figure of eight. First, by circling back to that start point in one direction, then repeating that waggle dance before circling back in the other direction. And she'll repeat this anything up to about a hundred times. How do the bees know how far to travel? Well, we can work that out by timing how long the waggle dance lasts. One second of waggling equals a fraction short of half a mile from the hive. And bees can travel at 15 to 20 miles an hour, and they fly five or six miles foraging, but they usually stay within about two or three miles of the hive. 
if you added up the total miles all the bees in one hive fly in one day mm -hmm. it would be equivalent to the distance of flying to the moon wow but the sun moves from east to west wouldn't the directions change well they have a couple of ways of getting round that first they've got this magnetic substance in the front of the bellies and that helps orient them to the Earth's magnetic field. Right. But they can also sense what time it is by the temperature inside the hive. It's like an internal body clock. Oh. And using both of them together, it gives them a sense of what time it is so they know where the sun is in relation to the horizon. As much as I'm enjoying the outfit, uh, can I change back now? Yes, please. Well, as embarrassed as I first was, I actually quite liked the feel of it after a while. No, I do. Oh, can I put it back on again? No. Are you sure? I'm I know sure. you don't like it. But... I'm sure. Right, let's have a look at one of my actual bees doing the waggle dance. Here she is, right in the middle. The other bees have stopped what they're doing to watch her. You can see her waggling at an angle of about 80 degrees. So if this was the hive, the bee is telling us that the nectar is at 80 degrees or to the right from the relative position of the sun on the horizon. And she's waggling for about five seconds, which means the nectar's about two and a half miles away. When we look at the map and measure out two and a half miles from the entrance of the hive at 80 degrees, according to this, it's just a patch of wild land out near the coast. Let's go and have a look. So what do you reckon to the new wheels then? It's a lot more economical to run than the Jeep was, and it's a lot easier to get between the apiaries and around the local area. I'm loving it. This is exactly two and a half miles from the entrance of the hive, at 80 degrees relative to where the sun was on the horizon. And it's brought me into just this wild field. It's nobody's property, it's just wild land. But as you can see, it's carpeted in ling heather which is just coming into flower there is absolutely loads of it everywhere no wonder that worker bee was so keen to tell all the other bees about this place and i hope they come and collect lots of nectar from here because it's going to make their most delicious scottish ling heather honey It's like that time I found them really good socks in Primark, do you remember? And I just dropped my clutch bag and started dancing and shouting at you. <laughs> clutch bag? Do you remember that? That didn't suit me, that clutch bag, did it really? Now you might be asking yourself, what happens if it's cloudy and the bees can't see the sun? Because Sean was meant to ask that and he didn't. <laughs> now bees can see polarised light and that means they can see the sun and its position even through the really thick cloudiest days Wow Which is good isn't it? It is Do you think fancy dress shop will let me keep the bee suit? <laughs> well I've got a bit of a thing I liked the way it felt up my gussy I think it just, I don't know Are you going to do your waggle dance? I'll do my waggle, shall I do my waggle? I'll have to put that on OnlyFans <laughs> when I don't think that's for this no, audience uh, Anyway we <laughs> hope you found this vlog entertaining and a little bit interesting maybe learn something yeah if you've got a question about the bees something that you've always wanted to know don't why ask not me ask him drop it in the comments and you never know we might actually be able to do a vlog out of it we might be able to but that's it for this week we hope you've enjoyed the vlog if you have and if you're not already please subscribe to the channel give the video a thumbs up if you hit the notification bell <laughs> youtube will send you a little notification every time we release a new vlog it will it's friday at four o'clock sun's going in now
Uh, Ish. You won't believe it, it's blue skies and there's this tiny little bit of cloud cover in the sun. Yeah. If you want to help support the channel, uh, keep us making these videos, don't say what you always say. There's a link up above Sean's head in the corner of the screen. If it's not there, it's down in the video description. You can join us on Patreon and help us support the work we do around the croft for the bees, the chickens, for Sherlock. Yeah. Uh, and keep us going. Are we done? I think so. We'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. Bye bye. It's all right. Three, two, one. I can't remember now. Oh, yeah. This is the longest bit I've got to remember now. Carl von Frisch. That's what I'm going to forget. No, as I told you, I told you I'd forget that one. And she'll. I, I don't know. I know, but I've forgotten how to say it. Ping! 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 <laughs> is go up there. Yeah. But the sun moves from east to west. Dun. 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 But the sun moves from east to west. Won't the direct... To the... Uh, I knew I'd get stuck on the science bit. You so wouldn't do dress like that. If they managed to father, father and garage.